Doug. Uh, sorry about the wind again. It's uh, January 2nd, we're down here on the lake. The temperatures went yesterday from about 50 degrees down to 31. And then overnight it dropped down to about 20. Right now they said that with this wind, the wind chill is down in the single digits. So we did a drastic change in weather. We're down here checking these beaver traps. I'm gonna check this bobcat set that I made on a scratching post. Stay with me. I'll be right back. We'll see how these traps worked out. See if we caught anything today. No, it ain't. It's still there. 330 ain't been tripped. But that has. That is a big beaver. It is a big beaver. I don't know if you can see them toe marks right there, but he's a good one. Did he? It didn't hold him. My trap just didn't hold him. But there's the drowner stick. Three thirty still set. So we got. We're gonna reset this and hey try guys. it again. Back down here at the lake, and it is, you look behind me here, there's my drowner pole. Oops, get in the right direction there. My drowner pole right there. He pulled out of that caster mound again. I can't wait for them 750s to get here. So what I did in the time being, since I won't get them for another two or three days, we're gonna, I put a double trap up. I got one side. I got one on one side and one on the other, and it's both to that drowner rig. That water, about two feet, three feet off the bank, is about I don't know, waist deep, about four feet deep. That should be more than enough to drown him. Well, guys, it's De or January seventh, and uh, I've had a couple pullouts, but I don't think this one's going to pull out. I got a little coon. <laughs> it ain't no beaver. But boy, he has really made a mess of my set. He's got everything tore down. So let me get him dispatched and uh, I'll be right back. Well guys, battery's about dead so I'm gonna make this real fast. Right there's a coon that I got out of my beaver set. Came over and investigated that caster mount and got into my traps right there at the edge of the water. I went ahead, pulled the 330 out of here, moved it to right there. You can see I got the diver stick with the uh, blocked off. That's the that's where they're going up right there. You can see the trail, right? Well, you can see the trail right here. It's going up right there where they go up up on top of their dam. Well, I just dispatched another coon. He was in my fox set, so he was on my uh, fox fox post set right here on that little tree. Hey fellas, so, we're uh, back down here on the trap line. Yesterday the camera went down and I got a culvert set right here. I'm gonna check and I put it in for uh, otter coming up this big creek off of the river. Um, it'd be the Ohio River and uh, it's not very far away. It's only several hundred yards away and uh, they come up this creek and get to this big lake that I'm trapping beaver on. So I thought, well, let's put uh, 220 down here for a culvert set and we'll see what we come up with. So here's the set. Got it sitting right there. 
Now, I put that out yesterday, so I was hoping, but wasn't expecting. Let's go up here and get set up. We'll head to the lake and check out those beaver traps there. Now, I did catch two coon, one in a grounder set for the beaver and one in a leg hold for a fox post. So, I'll be right back. Well, as you can tell, nothing in it, either one. So we'll move on down to the other 220 I had set for Otter down here at the far end, and we'll check it. I'll be right back. All right, fellas. I'm uh, over here on the gas line checking the trap line, and I noticed that the uh, wax paper was out of the trap and laying on the ground. So I knew something had been in it or was in it. So come up here and take a look and see. I hear the chain rattling. And there he is. He's a hiding. He's trying to hide from me up underneath that brush pile. It is a gray fox. You can't really sing very good, but looks like I got a good front pad catch underneath that brush pile. Right there's where the trap was. I used Demon's lure. There he is. And he's trying to hide from me. So let me get around here where I can get him dispatched and get him out of there. The boy's a pretty red or a gray fox. Give me just a minute, I'll be right back. Hi, right, fellas. I'm uh, over here on the gas line checking the trap line, and I noticed that the uh, wax paper was out of the trap and laying on the ground. So I knew something had been in it or was in it. So. I'll come up here and take a look and see. I hear the chain rattling. And there he is. He's a hiding. He's trying to hide from me up underneath that brush pile. It is a gray fox. You can't really sing very good, but looks like I got a good front pad catch underneath that brush pile. Right there's where the trap was. I used Demon's lure. There he is. And he's trying to hide from me. So let me get around here where I can get him dispatched and get him out of there. The boy's a pretty red or a gray fox. Give me just a minute, I'll be right back. Well guys, there he is. Nice little gray fox. Using the demons, uh, land lovers, right here in this little set. And it right there. 
trap was bedded right here. So finally, finally I caught my first fox. So it's almost been, a, it's, well it's been right out a month since my first catch period, which was a coon. So I guess these uh, dirt holes and these flat sets are working out for me. Uh, patience is a virtue, I guess. Just leave them set. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with some more. I gotta check the rest of the line. There you go, Later. fellas. We got us another big old coon in that bucket. That bucket has produced, uh, let's see, it's produced one, two, three. I think this is the fourth coon. And, um, uh, I think it got, uh, yeah, one, it got one um, possum. So, uh, sorry about that, I couldn't think clearly. I'm trying to watch this ice. We got a little ice over here. Let me just a second get through this. Ice, let me get over here to this coon. Take a look at him. Nice coon. All right, let me get him out of here. Get this bucket reset, and hey guys, we'll be right back. January fifteenth. I'm checking the traps. It got down to thirteen degrees, and uh, right now it's about twenty. So. I'm gonna check these traps out. We got a little dusting of snow, what nothing to talk about, but got my wife with me. She's gonna walk the line again. We'll check these traps down here at the lake for the beaver. And then I got the two leg hold sets for the bobcat. We'll see what comes up. Hang with us, we'll be right back. About 25 more traps to check on another line. We're gonna head that way, so stay with me. Hopefully these are all land sets and um, we got some snares out for fox and some snares out for coyote and we got about three or four dirt holes so we'll check them out and see what happens thanks for watching well fellas the post set didn't have anything neither did the bone uh, the bone trap but I walked down here Check out these snares, and I just put the snare out yesterday. And look at what I got right there. I got me one big mad coon. He is not a happy boy. There you go. Stupid son. He's not a happy fella. So. Let me get him out of there here in a second. We got two more set up. And we'll check and see if there's anything in them. Nope. We got one set right there where they're running this trail right here. I don't see anything, so let me get this guy taken care of. So there's another coon. That's a good deal. Get that snare fixed up. We'll get another snare put in its place. If you ain't got it tore up too bad, I might reuse it. But uh, give me a minute and get him dispatched and I'll be right back. Fellas, I was just walking down this gas line on the edge of this thicket. But what I found was this is a double dirt hole. Something's been digging right there. Looks like I might have to get me a trap and put in this spot. Cause I got one right down here where that brush pile is from a locust tree that fell over, or a uh, hedge apple that fell over. So I'll see if they get the uh, dirt hole. So I have to work our way into this thicket where I've got a, a snare set for the, for the fox. I think I found the fox den, I ain't 100% sure, but I think it is. 
It could be a coon den for all I know. But uh, nothing's been in this. There's my dirt hole right there. Got a couple feathers shoved in there for attractant. We're using uh, Demon's Lure, or Demon's Bait, Demon's Brand Bait and Lure. It's um, Land Lovers and uh, some Fox Pea. So let's sneak our way through here. This is a, only about the only trail I got cut in here, and I only cut it a little ways, and that's so I can get the deer to come in here underneath my stand. And there's a boatload of stone piled up right there. And um, it's along the ridge line here. I got my snare trap right through there. If you look in the center of the screen, I got it setting right up through there. But uh, on the back side of that, there's a couple of holes by it. So I don't know if the fox are using it or, or what. So let me get off of here. I'll be right back and we'll check his snare.